Hey family, what's going on? Klaus here and welcome back to our Town Hall 12 Let's Play where today I am also, as usual, very stoked because I happened to log into the account hoping to film and guess what I saw? Guess what I ran into? It is a warden and he'll be done in 40 seconds and guess what? My elixir is maxed out. It couldn't have worked out any better, I think. It couldn't have worked out any better because literally I'm like, yo, I need to film something. Let's jump into the Town Hall 12 and then I see... That's perfect. <laughs> That's perfect. Yeah, so um, all I have to do is wait a, a couple of seconds, and we're going to be able to upgrade the Warden immediately once again. Now, of course, we have some big plans for today. Um, I have been using my Miners, okay? Miners are absolutely amazing if you're farming for Dark Elixir. Um, I was using them because I had Max Elixir, and I'm thinking, you know what? I'm going to use some... Heavy elixir armies, grab some dark elixir, get us closer to upgrading the king, which that's obviously going to be a big focus going forward. But there you go, guys. The warden has woke up level 29, and he's going to go immediately back down for level 30, which is huge. That's huge, because then we only have like five levels to go, maybe 10. I, I still don't know. I haven't looked it up or anything. But yeah, so that's that's great, though. Progress is always good, right? Progress is always good. So let's go ahead and do this, guys. 11.8 million elixir. Immediately put this warden back down in three, two, one, bam. That's awesome. All right, so let's go ahead and collect the elixir and the dark elixir. Now we're ready to go rock and roll. Again, I've got my miners. I got 46 miners, four archers to fill the gap. We've also got healers, or not healers, healing spells, poison spell. And then, of course, we have our yetis and our wizard inside of our CC, which is, happens to be a wall break, wall wrecker, and a rage spell for those yetis. So the goal for this, oh, wow. First search hype. First, first search hype. Oh, ho, ho. that's some loot right there, dude. That is some loot right there. And you know what else is so great about that? Is that it's really not that great of a base. Look at this. This guy's got Town Hall 6 level walls on his Town Hall 12. Not that walls matter. I'm using miners. Uh, but I have a wall uh, wall wrecker. And of course, I'm going to bring the max one. Actually, I don't even need the max one. I'm going to hold on. I'm going to save the max one because this base has such... Terrible defenses. Yeah, so let's go ahead and go in with our miners, guys. Wall Wrecker and King. And let's see what we got here, guys. Let's see what we got here. Um, King's already been deployed. He's dealing with some skeletons uh, traps right now. Let's, I guess, uh, heal over here on this corner as well. Just to make sure that we can keep them alive as long and in as, as far into the base as possible. Uh, I want to poison over this queen. Obviously, there's no clan castle troops. So, yeah, everything's looking pretty good so far. Obviously, ooh, once they get past this tornado trap, yeah, we're going to drop the rage spell. There you go. There you go, buddy. Take out that town hall. Well done. Nicely done. All right, pop that king's ability as well, and I've got some archers. Corner buildings are where they're most useful, but every once in a while there isn't any. So I'm just going to start throwing them on some outlier buildings. Ooh, I sent, I sent this sentenced that one to death. That was not good. But there you go. So easy money, guys. Easy money. I love it. Anytime I can get some easy money. This one was like, what was it? Like 600,000 gold in the elixir and 6,000 dark elixir. I mean, you're looking at some beautiful stuff and the miners just handle it like an absolute boss. I mean, it's just amazing. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to get ahead of the curb. Okay, I'm logging into my phone here, making sure I'm on the right Wi-Fi and I'm ready to donate CC troops to myself because that's definitely going to be necessary. But there you go. Oh my gosh, with that loot bonus, nearly 700,000 gold, nearly 800,000 elixir and over 6380 dark elixir. That is a great amount of loot right there. I could uh, I mean, if I found that much loot every time, I could use miners cuz you know, they're expensive but they're not that expensive. But yeah, that was that was really nice. All right, so going to go and collect that. Let's request some CC troops. I got my phone. Look at that. Oosh, ready to go. Got my tunnel 13. Throw in some. Dang it! Hoosier! Dang it, Hoosier! <laughs> and actually, it's a great, this is a great moment to, to mention that Hoosier is actually the one that today's video is dedicated to because he's the one that answered the trivia question on DLive correctly. So shout out to uh, Hoosier for that. Shout out to you, my man. Awesome. Anyway, if you guys want to have a video dedicated to you, Come into the live streams to stream every Tuesday and Thursday. The link is in the description. And every once in a while, we do trivia questions or or whatever. And uh, that's how the uh, the dedicates are distributed. There we go. That's the word, distributed. Anyway, so let's go in, guys. Let's do another one. Let's smack this base again. And nope. Okay, not first search. No, uh, that last base 
definitely spoiled me. Uh, I'm going to be looking for a base that is very, very handsome indeed on, in all ways. Okay, gold, elixir, dark elixir. That one was great with gold and dark elixir, but not necessarily all of them. So I'm going to be a bit patient here, guys. I'm going to exercise my patience. Patience is virtue. And that is a oh, ho oh, oh. ho. Oh, wow. Okay, guys. Um, wow. Wow, wow, wee wa. So somebody left their base on their progress base. Somebody had a lot of loot when they logged out and they haven't logged in in a very long time. And somebody really, really loves me. This is over 900,000 golden elixir. Over 6,900 dark elixir. Oh, bro. This is gorgeous. All right, let's, um, I guess first let's see if there's a CC. There is no CC. This is good. This is great. So I guess what I'll do, since we're really not going to have any real resistance for a while, I'm going to just send in the CC troops there, and we're going to take out this town hall just with the CC troops. I'm going to save the wall wrecker, okay? So that'll go down, and then what? I guess... I guess we can send the miners in a real nice and even deployment there. Yeah, 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 that'll work. All right, and then um, obviously we need to keep poison on that and heal on that. I'm actually going to rage that as well. Let's heal across the line here just to make sure that the troops make it because it would be just dis disappointing if they didn't. And, um, and yeah, so everyone's now turning up against the troop or the defense. This is amazing. This is so much loot, it's making me excited. Like, seriously. Like, for real, 900,000 golden elixir, and it's all sitting right here. I mean, we've already finished. I don't even have to spend the rest of my healing spells. I've already done, got the three star, as far as loot's concerned. Who cares about the actual stars, right? The loot's what matters. But, dude, seriously, that is beautiful. Yeah, I'm not even going to bother. I'm not going to bother healing. I don't even care. Right now, what I care about is, well, actually, you know what? Taking out the eagle artillery would be cool. There we go. For the achievement, right? Um, yeah, that was awesome. All right, so, guys... That was a huge blessing. I found a base that had good loot, skipped it, skipped a crappy loot, and then ended up finding that. And that was just a pure miracle, really. I mean, <laughs> Clash of Clans, miracle. Yeah, that one's also getting shared in my clan chat. Believe it. And on my Discord server. By the way, don't forget to join my Discord server. Link's in the description. Lots of good reasons to join it. We hang out. I actually chat in there all the time. But anyway, so there you go, guys. Over a million golden elixir. Over 7,000 dark elixir. That was beautiful. I'm going to share it in my chat right now. I'm going to share it. I'm going to say yeet. Okay, the W is an accident, but I'm going to leave it in there anyway. All right. So, um, guys, after all of that, after all of that, that was just beautiful. All right. Let's go into my progress base and let's see. What we got going on first of all again the warden going down to level 30 is very much the highlight to today's video we've also got the laboratory which has just over a day so don't have to worry too much about that though preparing for using elixir in there would probably be wise dark elixir as well if i can get my king going soon that'd be great i'm about 68,000 dark elixir away from that actually wait if i collect my treasury eh, treasury is not super full i'm gonna leave it in there but that's 5,800 dark elixir right there so i think what we're going to do here is we're going to upgrade a defense. Ooh, I can't even afford a defense. Okay, I've got to collect the treasury. Bummer, but I've got to. Yeah, now, now I've got some choices. Okay, so the choices include... Oh, we, there is no choice. Check this out. Remember I said that I wanted to upgrade air defenses one at a time? Well, this one is done. We finished it. And the Bob the Builder, Bob the Builder, who's doing the building for the air defenses is now available. So let's go ahead and let's upgrade another air defense. It's 10 million gold. It is a 14 day upgrade, literally two weeks of sitting and waiting. It's ridiculous. Uh, two week wait period. Totally worth it though, I guess. I mean, it's not hurting me to wait. And um, yeah, we're in good shape. So let's go ahead and do this guys. 10 million gold, 14 day upgrade in three, two, one, bam. Nice. And the reason why I like to do them one at a time is because I don't want to upgrade more than one at a time because then you're super vulnerable to like dragons, Z drags, Laloon, things like that. And I just don't like to do that. I like to try to stay strong even when I am weak. It's a good quote. 
So, um, yeah, anyway, that, I guess, will have to do it for today's video. Um, obviously, once again, we're saving Dark Elixir for a, hopefully, a King upgrade soon. We're saving the Elixir for probably a Laboratory upgrade. And, of course, the Gold will go into another defense soon. I have another Builder coming available in three days and 20 hours. Holy cannoli. So, that means, yes, the Laboratory is definitely next for sure. So that's going to be the main, the main focus going forward. And I'm going to need loads of elixir. Unless I decide to do like a dark elixir upgrade. Give me ideas in the chat or in the comments, guys. I need to upgrade something. I've got goblins, wall breakers, and wizards. I've got dragons, e-drags. I've got uh, P.E.K.K.A., Miners, and Yetis. Lots of choices for Elixir-based troops. Also, Elixir-based spells. Well, we that, this free spell is the last one. That's awesome. And then Dark Elixir, we had the Poison spell, the Skeleton spell, the Bat spell, and then, of course, the troops. we got Minions, uh, Yet uh, Valkyries, Golems, Witches, Lava Hounds, Ice Golems, and then, of course, the Siege Machines as well. Lots of laboratory to go. We are so far away from done with the lab. It's not even funny. But the progress is in the books today. And it's fun. I'm actually genuinely enjoying my Tunnel 12 these days. So, guys, that's going to be it for me today in this episode of our Tunnel 12 Let's Play. Thank you all so much for tuning in. Like this video if you liked it. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already for daily gaming videos. And also, don't forget to ring the bell for notifications so you can be one of the first to see the new videos. But remember that the members get exclusive 24-hour early access ad-free viewing. If you want to check into that, it's $2 a month. You can find the link for that down below in the description. Also, don't forget to support your favorite content creator, whoever it may be, using that creator code. If it's me, I really appreciate it. Um, the link or um, the code is code Klaus. There's a link in the description to automatically input the code. But before you make any purchases, gold pass, gems, special packs, whatever, you want to make sure that you're supporting a content creator. You have to check that manually. So the way to do that is you go to your gears button to go to settings, go to more settings and scroll down to the very bottom. And as you can see right here, create a boost. There's no one there's no code entered because it automatically deletes itself every seven days. So I'm going to go ahead and enter code and enter code Klaus specifically for demonstration purposes. And there we go. Now I'm supporting. Be sure that you do the same thing with whoever's code you choose to use. Guys, that's going to be it for me. Remember that I love each and every one of you. And I will see you all again next time.